Now we are going to talk about something related with S4 HANA related with the BP transaction. XK03, XD03, a bunch of other transaction has been uh, has not been moved into the S4 HANA system. So if you go to BP transaction and here you can see this this icon. So you click on settings and here you can select what type of a type of processing for business partner you want it display or you want it change or something so you can do all these things this is very important generally you should select settings last selected but it's up to you whether you want to do it or not okay so here um, there's not much other stuff that they have given so let's see if we'll explore whether there is any other stuff that they've given so we'll click start and we'll We'll just get one vendor suppose okay uh, so this is a vendor number okay uh, so here if you select suppose you go to suppose financial accounting and it's a little more clicky than what it used to be before in the old system xk01 and xk02 and xk03 uh, otherwise it's the same thing and here if you want to see the default values you don't have anything special here so this is something that the probably needs some attention and and sap probably will uh, enhance it uh, with some more default values that you can populate here so let's go here go to initial screen dms document no settings is the same settings takes you extras more extras let's see whether there's something here no print preview not interested environment archive data no so here another thing is you can see the history uh, of what is its status on so it tells you the status management history of this so let's see if we can select there's probably nothing there so here you can see what is the is the change document object for business objects so we had the we had this uh, function model already in debug that's why it's showing here and we we'll just we'll just take this out and we'll do this wait and we'll see whether there's any change with this not no data displayed on 131 2020 so this is the only things that is there so you don't have particular default values that you can populate in the business partner screen that probably SAP will change later on so that's it for this tutorial and happy learning and stay tuned to my channel for SAP tips and tricks